I'm so yellow and then sometimes I'm not. Mario, 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 Mario. Hello and welcome back to the universe. Today, I need to stop creaking. I shaved my armpits, but they still may be a little hairy, so sorry. Today, I'm going to be reviewing, and this is a first impressions of the new line that just launched today by Makeup by Mario. Mario, 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 Mario. So, okay, he says it like Mario. It's not Mario, it's Mario. He always says, hey guys, it's Mario here. So Makeup by Mario, 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 launched a makeup line today, October 1st. And so I took my lunch break very, very early and I went to Sephora and I bought as much that I wanted to. So I didn't pick up everything because I didn't want everything, but I'm gonna show you what I picked up and I'm gonna do it. It's all about the eyes. I have the rest of my face on and a plebeian will be using and reviewing Makeup by Mario's line. Okay, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! I picked up eight, nine. <gasps> Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I picked up nine things. Holy guacamole, I was, was not gonna pick up nine things. He came out with three eyeshadow palettes, so I only picked up one, the one that I was most interested, in, and it's this matte eyeshadow palette. Those of you who don't know who he is, he is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and also like the most famous. He set the trend for perfect makeup type of thing. Highly coveted man. I actually never like really followed him because I never followed intense makeup artists because they work on perfect clients. I don't know, it was like too high up for me. But I read a New York Times article that the makeup artist at Ground Zero that somebody sent to me and it was such an intriguing article. It recently came out and then so I just started looking into him even more and like I've always known about him but like I was like me, I could never even follow him. You know, I could never do what he does. But then I think out of all the people to launch a line, he's the person that should probably launch one. So I'm gonna see if it is user-friendly for the average plebeian. Just kidding, we're not plebeians, we're just normal consumers. And all of the models that he used, they were like flawless looking. We don't have that here. So I'm going to test out, I don't wanna say plebeian friendly, that's kind of messed up. I'm not a freaking plebeian, I'm freaking normal. I'm gonna test out how good it is for uh, your average Joes. So here we go. So I got an eyeshadow palette, the Mattes palette. I got the light master eye prep and set and I got the crystal reflector in bronzite. Oh yeah. And then I got the brown pencil liner and the brightening liner and I got two brushes, which I was like pretty surprised that I got brushes because I don't really think I need them. I kind of want to save this secret glow at the end. I was very like, what the fudge is this? It, it looks empty, but you know what? I'm just gonna dip my hand into it. And what the fudge? It's supposed to be a bomb-like highlighter that gives your skins a glass-like finish. To be honest, I'm trying to figure out if this is like Lux Vaseline. It has no shimmer, you know, so it's supposed to give very like glass, glass, perfect. It doesn't smudge your makeup or anything, and I think this is uh, quite a unique product. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. If you really think about it, it can be like Lux Vaseline. But then the thing is you'll never put Vaseline on your face because it would just break your makeup apart. But this apparently doesn't do that. So this is one of his favorite products as well. So I'm just gonna go straight into the eyes first. I think this is the EF1 and it has a fluffy side for the powder and a more concealing y side. And basically these are primers. I don't actually have eye primers, but I watch Robert Welsh who is a, a YouTuber here and he's a pro makeup artist as well. And he was saying that you should probably prime your eyes. You don't have to, but you can prime your eyes. But when you prime your eyes, you shouldn't really use a concealer because many times concealers are can be oil-based. So it can break apart your makeup as well. So it's better to actually use primers. So Makeup by Mario came out with a primer and what he said is to go a shade lighter than what you would think. So I picked up light and I'm going into this light shade. And if you want the colors to pop on your eyes, that's what you should be using. So, oh wow, this, oh fudge, this is really light. This is a nice brush though. Wow, this is extremely light. So I'm gonna take this up to my brow bone and then I'm just gonna coat my entire eye with it. 
And then here is a translucent powder at the bottom. Why does everything look so white? Why do why does my eyes look so white? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What I'm a little bit confused on is I also heard so like if you're gonna set the primer, kind of defeats the purpose of the primer, I feel like, because you're just then putting powder on top of the translucent powder, like your shadows. But what do I know? Also, I will say the hype between this and the Rare Beauty, very, very different. Like, I feel like I didn't see that many people talking about it, which is kind of interesting. In addition, the influencers that got the PR box, wow, really interesting mix. Like, a lot of really small YouTubers. I don't know how he chose it, but I thought it was very interesting. But a lot of, like, the big ones that I watch, like, none that talked about it. So I was like, oh, okay. So now after I uh, primed my eyes, you can see it's quite light. You can, he said you can mix them or you can also, I watched all the mini master classes. If you wanna have a bolder, darker look, you can go in with the darker shade. I am gonna do like a matte smoky eye, which I never do, so here we go. But so I'm gonna take this translucent powder and just wash it over my eyes. I also heard that this is really good to just like put wherever you feel like you're oily. Uh, I hope you can tell, but I got a new shade of the Rare Beauty. Thank goodness I got 230N because that 240W was so, oopsies so yellow on me so i got 230w and today i mixed it with my dior forever brush is real nice and fluffy i feel like if you're a makeup artist you probably would find use in every single one of these items why does the lighting keep make changing colors okay so next i'm just gonna go directly into my eyeshadow okay now i also got the e5 brush i'm pretty sure e stands for i and ef this is eyes and face all of his names are very just like Simple, like master mattes, and then the shades don't have names. They're just matte one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll do some quick swatches. What I heard from most of the um, reviews that I watched, which, okay, also there's not that many reviews out there, which I, I only found about four reviews, which I was like, where's hey, everybody? Is something wrong? I don't know who the target audience. It's not as wide of a range as Rare Beauty was, but this is the first top row. And I heard that it's not gonna be like, in crazy crazy payoff because this is all about blending oh gosh okay i don't know if i did it oh okay it's really hard to see like it's not supposed to be this like one like it's not really supposed to be like that it's supposed to be buildable because think about it well, who are his clients supermodels so they're not you know he's all about like subtleties building up not like i think what we're used to on instagram and things like that if you think the swatches are bland i understand why but i think to put it to the test we actually have to put it to the test. All right, so this is the second row. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, see, yeah. Also, these might be too close to my skin tone. That's why you can't tell. Oh, oh yeah. Payoff is, oh, wow. Girl, it's fine. Oh my gosh, I was so worried because that first row, I was like, I can't see anything. And he did say that he was inspired by natural human skin tone which I thought was, this collection is all about like embracing mother earth and our, our, our natural color and things like that. So he's really into that. This is the last row. And this is again, just based on skin tones that we see in this world. And then this is supposed to be like a super black. And I don't have a neutral, complete matte eyeshadow palette and so i thought i was like okay i mother freaking need this and in addition you can always be mixing these colors so you can i feel like you can produce any sort of skin tone ever all right so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna try to use as many colors as possible so i'm gonna go in with the lightest shade first and kind of dip it in with one and three dust it off and kind of uh, just create a base color this fluffy brush is pretty bomb what the fudge Okay, so far, shadows are blending quite moistly. And then I'm gonna go in with my regular plebeian brushes and I'm gonna deepen my eyes because I feel like I just put a nice color on it. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this second shade and start to carve out a shape. Like a little bit higher, obviously, than my crease, which is right here. I'm gonna go up to where my eye socket is. Also, Yanji's house. I think the packaging is very simple because I know he's a simple man and he's just like, you know, down to earth. So he doesn't want anything crazy, but I do I really wish the packaging was matte. I don't know why, I think it would have been much nicer and just a little less, like it would feel a little more luxe. Very clean, but it would be even nicer if it was matte. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got just a pretty clean blend. You could say that this is closer to like my skin tone. It's a little bit dark, darker. So I'm gonna continue to deepen it 
this warm brown and mix it with the top as well and then just concentrate on the like more outside oh yeah right there definitely really good pigment off of these shadows i feel like i'm not talking about it that much Kamimega, you know like they don't look muddy at all but they look very much blended all right so now i'm going to bring a little bit to the bottom that same color one two three four five six seven eight so number eight i'm gonna use that and just kind of curtail it at the bottom i'm gonna take the translucent brush and just brush it out a little bit more so now i'm gonna start deepening my eyes so I'm gonna take a bit of a denser brush, not the densest brush that I got. And then I'm gonna go into one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is such a nice kind of warm brown. Dip into there, start opening up my crease a little bit. So I would like to say that I am in a very privileged position to be able to have a job that allows me to purchase these things, but I know not everybody does. By all means, do you, you do not need to purchase these things, you know? I do, I sometimes feel bad because I'm always like, you don't need to buy it. But then here I am buying all these things, trying to make people want to buy it, but that's not the case. But so far, we're doing pretty good. And he has a lot of educational tools out there, like his whole website, he was talking about there's like an apprentice program, and there's just a lot of classes that he gives with using these products, which makes total sense, you know? I know half of it is marketing, but smart. They're expensive, but they're not the most expensive product out there. I'm so yellow and then sometimes I'm not. I'm smoking it out today. I'm gonna go in with this brick red brown and add a little bit into my outer corner just to warm it outer corner inside a little bit and you know what i'm actually going to take the red brick red it's not a real red and i'm going to go all the way in because i kind of want to do like just a darker eye all around oh wow i really like this color now i'm going to take this blending awesome brush and just blend out everything i'm going to go in a little bit with this and make sure to just keep now I'm gonna go increasingly darker. This is, I'm gonna mix these two cause this seems a little bit too cool for my taste today. I'm gonna just concentrate once again on my outermost corner. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that black actually. And smoke it out a little bit, just a tiny bit. Oh yeah, that black is really black. Oh. Pick up six and seven and kind of mix them and start to blend it up at the top wow okay i really have never done such a smoky eye before that black is really strong all right so now i'm going to work on the under eyes a little bit more i'm going to take seven and eight and then smoke out the bottom but i want it to be more brown than black i'm going to clean it up by using that like really ivory number one. And I'm gonna take my also favorite, this brush, and just kind of soften up the bottom and brighten it up. Oh, you can use this as like the under eye powder too. I'm gonna concentrate it a little bit on my brow bone for my brow bone highlight. Probably the best smoky eye I've ever done. Oh man, I kind of regret using the black cause it's a little bit too black, but that's okay. I think it fits the smoky. Definitely would recommend the eyeshadow palette. I think it's really good for anybody, really. Ah, I'm really kind of bummed about the packaging though, and it's already kind of dirty because it's so white. So now we have the brown liner and the brightening eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't have a brown eye pencil, so I was like, perfect, and I've been looking for one. So it comes with this brush tip, kind of like an easel type of thing, and I heard it's supposed to be very blendable. So I'm gonna just line Oh wow, it is extremely emollient. Very, very soft. You guys see that? It's just gliding on real good. Oh yeah. Oh snap, This we're going, we're going deep dark today. And then this easel part is supposed to give you a nice wing. Yeah. Um, the easel's kind of meh. Oh, but it works nicely here to soften it. Oh yeah, I see what the softening is about, but I'm gonna get under there too. Like my waterline. Oh yeah. Oh, 
This part I can live without. Probably not using it correctly, but you can tell it is definitely smudging. I do have to say this is extremely easy to use. Oh, this wing is better. Actually, I understand why they need to have this because this can get dull. So it's better to have something like this that can bring out that line. So, okay, I understand. But it's not like super, super awesome. <gasps> okay, but I'm digging it. It's very soft. All right, so there is the liner. A uh, little incomplete on this end. What cleaner on this end? So, Next, we have the eye brightening pencil. It's a really light color, and this is great because I've been looking for one of these and I haven't been able to find one. And basically, it's just supposed to brighten your eyes. You can use it wherever, but I'm gonna use it to brighten my under eye. Ouch. I got in there. I like, oh, I do like this pencil. I'd recommend this cream pencil, especially if you don't have one. But I'm sure there's tons out there that are, that are cheaper. This was 20 something dollars. I mean, everything was 20 something dollars. Okay, so the last two products that I have is this Master Crystal Reflector. And this is in the shade Bronzite. He puts it all over the lid. I know some people use this as a highlighter. But I'm not going to do that. Whoa, it is. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, this is so pretty. It has just this water-like glisten. I was thinking like Diamond Bomb by Fenty, but this texture is definitely a lot. It's uh, it's not a putty texture like the Fenty one. Wow, but it's very thin. Like it's so glistening pretty. I'm gonna start at using it as an inner corner. And then if I really just lose my mind, I might just put it on top of my whole eye. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna have to put it on top of my whole eye. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna drag it underneath. He just packs the whole thing on with no nothing else. And he said that's really his favorite way to use it, but I already got stuff on my lid. I'm just gonna do a little bit, because why the freak not? Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, certainly not a matte look anymore. It's very different. I kind of thought it would be like the Pat McGrath, the shades that I have. So it's soft to the t touch, but I feel like the chunks or like the, the, the glitter, it's like very glittery. So if you don't like that glitter, you might not like this. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. So the last thing is his secret juice. Secret Glow <laughs> Highlighter. So the last product is the Secret Glow Expensive Vaseline Light Jelly Balm. Thicker than I thought. Apparently there's a grip-like effect so it doesn't move or smudge your makeup, but gives you a glass-like finish. I'm a little afraid because it's not supposed to pick your makeup up, but like, it's just hard to wrap my mind around that. So here I go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's not smudging my makeup. I guess I kind of do understand what people are talking about when they're talking about that grip. But I don't really know if I see the benefits yet. Oh, and the thing is like, if your finger's dirty, this is gonna get dirty. Do I see that? That, that's what it is, right there. Yeah. I feel like this is not for the average everyday consumer. Like I understand how it could be. These are for supermodels a little bit. It's thick though. I'm not mad that I bought it, but I don't think everybody wants it. And I feel like I could probably wear this if I wasn't wearing foundation. Oh yeah, I think I could really see the benefits then. But I feel like if you don't have pretty good skin, you might feel not so. And this is the pro part about this is like a lot of these products are really good for people that have perfect features. Not really, cause these are eye, all eye products and you, you can do, you know, you can make do, but. Actually, I don't, know. I don't know. I kind of like it. The more I'm looking at it, the more I like it. And it's not picking up any of my foundation. Although it still feels tacky. Oh, you see my hair stuck to it? It, it is tacky, but it doesn't feel oily or greasy. Wow, and it does have that, that natural shine. Okay, so I put on these lashes. They're supposed to be naked, but they're pretty intense. Okay, I actually... I really like this secret glow, but it's sticking to my hair kind of a lot. I don't know how long it's gonna stay tacky for. So I put on a matte nude lip from Maybelline and I lined it with my ColourPop, but I just bought this NARS Orgasm Lip Balm, which I was never ever considering buying, but then I got a sample when I bought something at Sephora and it was so good. So I just, I done darn picked it up and it's pretty sheer, but it has a, well, it has just such a nice pink 
you know, and I just can't leave it super matte, so I'm just gonna do the thing. This is the final look. Wow, these lashes are vea vea vroom. But let me give you a close up of the eyes. Are you seeing a close up? Am I doing it close enough? You know what? On like the more I look at the shimmer reflector, I really, 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 really like it. It reminds me of the Hourglass Scattered Light, which I don't have, but somebody else I know has it, and it's so pretty. I feel like if you use the Secret Glow with this, you could look super, have that glossy, wet eye look. I think the matte shadow is really, really worth it. It's $48, which is like pricey. Again, packaging, I feel like it could have been better, but you know, the quality of the products is really good. I like the brushes that I got. I love the eyeliner. I like the brightening pencil. I do like this prep and set, but I don't think everybody needs it. It will definitely help with the longevity of your eye makeup, but if that's not a priority, I don't think you need it. The Secret Glow also, I don't think everybody needs it. Yeah, it's a unique product to have for sure. I'm really kind of digging this. It's very slick. Still pretty sexy. The lashes really make it look dramatic and this terrible lighting situation is really messing me up. But overall, I really like this look. Like I feel very mature. Darn, I wish there's somewhere to go because I really like it. But makeup by Mario, Mario, Mario. Everything I think I'm probably gonna keep. If you have the means to invest in something like this, I think it is a really good idea. Also like you're paying homage to the number one makeup artist in the game but do i think it's a must definitely i think there are cheaper options the most unique probably is the secret glow and the crystal reflector but i know there's other matte palettes out there but i just didn't have one and i wanted to invest in a really good quality one so i think for a makeup artist or someone that does this as a profession it's a really good line to invest in i think if you're someone that's beginning sure you can find things if you want to spend that much money but if you're like a connoisseur like myself and someone that enjoys buying makeup because the brand means something or like who the brand is by i think this is a great one so that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my own self and like this video and be nice to your parents make sure to wear a mask yeah may the lord bless you bye i just want to say that the more i look at this crystal light reflector i'm freaking digging it like freaking Okay, bye.